What's up everybody? This is obviously Aprilia Ea here coming back after a bit of a hiatus. It's been like three months since the last video, but I'm here at it again. And today I'm going to be reviewing this AI image platform known as Recraft, which was actually recently ranked number one on this website where you can rank these images without knowing which platform they came from. This suddenly came on top beating Flux. And they, back then, they didn't they have like uh, publicly announced their website or anything, but there has been a lot of interest on this platform ever since. And this is not just a place where you can generate images. You also have a lot of things where you can actually edit out those images as well, playing around with vectors and mockups and different things like these. And I have to say that this seems to be the trajectory where a lot of these AI image generator platforms are going. We saw that with my last mid journey video when they started this editor thing. So more and more things are trying to kind of replace Photoshop. They're adding more outcropping, in-cropping, and all of these different types of color adjustment features, basically trying to compete with Photoshop. And I kind of see the appeal of that. And I think in a couple of years time, I think Photoshop is definitely going to be in a lot of trouble because these platforms are going to be offering a lot more better image, uh, you know, tools and you don't have to pay as much for Photoshop, which is very expensive. And I recently stopped my subscription because I didn't need it anymore. I could just use a free service. So let's kind of go into some of the projects that I already uh, generated here. And there's like vectors, mockups, remove backgrounds, erase area, upscale. So a lot of different features in here. The interface does take some time to get used to. And it's kind of similar to something that we reviewed recently. I can't remember the site anymore, but whatever. And this is like, you know, I will not go through the every single feature over here because obviously I'm still getting used to the hotkeys and everything. If you have used Photoshop, you are going to be somewhat familiar with this. And here's a prompt that I used from Civitai, the super random image here, which I liked and then I brought it in here. And here is what we got. And in terms of like quality, in terms of lighting here, I think it looks pretty well. Obviously, the teeth are very wonky over here. Here, it does actually look a bit better. And they have multitude of different, in terms of their version 3, which is their current model. I don't know what the Recap 20B is. I think that might be like an earlier model, but the version 3 is where we at now, I think. And we can like change the style here immediately if we want to like, okay, I didn't like this style. Let me recraft it in a vector style. And this is something that Midjourney also did just like, hey, now we can restylize the images into something completely different. This is kind of convenient if you have, I don't know, you maybe have an art project, you're maybe a real life image which you want to turn into a vector art or something like that. And here we have the end results. I think it took a lot away from the quality this time around. I did a couple of different tests on this. Let's try another one over here, like an illustration. That might be something a bit more better. And there are a lot of different parameters that you can do. So you can add more colors, palettes, backgrounds. There's also like, you can alter out the image. Okay, here we go. Now it's like more like Harley Quinn. And this is actually not too bad. The quality is pretty good and not a lot of pixelation. This is obviously illustration. So there's going to be a bit of that. And here, for example, there's some emblems on the color and that's kind of looks junky and here a bit on the chain. But when you zoom out, it don't really pay that much attention to. And there's a lot of tools that will be able to fix those things out. So that's pretty impressive. Let's try a different style of a prompt over here. Let me just get this and let me remove those Laura things over here. And we're going to go with the raw thing. And let's see what we can do. We can, I can't actually change the amount. It's always going to do two images. Um, we're not going to Christmasize it. We're going to do, okay, we don't need, and yeah, you can change the colors and spectrums here, saturation if you want to. So there's a lot of altering things here, but let's let's try this new recrafting thing. And then there's a fine tune feature. I think we should probably look into that after this. And obviously there are a lot of other tools as you can see on top. There's the text, there is the, the mock-up thing. I'm still getting used to that. I think it's not like super easy to use. Like, as I said, the interface is what it is. And okay, so basically, that's pretty impressive now that I think about it. So let's let's try to do that. So here we have the images. These are not actually very impressive. I, I think we might have a bit of a bad pose. Let's try to do the enterprise instead. 
and the fine tune this is basically allowing us to create images variations of it which are a lot more well closer to that image do a cat to a dog and all that stuff and here we have okay okay but let's do eagle logo and we can choose let's do a vector art here eagle logo for a sports team and we're gonna do a new public and let's try to do that mock-up feature the mock-ups are kind of like one of the things that we don't really have super good tools as of right now like what i want to usually prompt when i'm thinking these things recently is do a design or a character and that character wearing a shirt with a coca-cola brand on branding on it or like there's a logo that i have which has a color theme and i want like hey create a character using this color theme over here and now let's do let's if this makes sense let's do cereal box let's see if we can do a mock-up over here and then we should be able to just drag in this eagle which has three wings for some reason i don't maybe that's a mohawk maybe i think that's actually trying to do a mohawk but maybe it didn't come out like as good and we should be able to just drag in the eagle inside i think it's loading okay and it's it's doing decent this is not the best but you saw it on the video it, it actually can do things let's just do Let's try it, try again. Let's delete this and just try to do a mug, white mug, cereal. I should have probably described a white cereal box or whatever, but this is very, very convenient for a brand or you're running a business or something like that. You just can do all the mockups over here. And there we go. And now I think that the, the thing over here, it looks like a 3D thing. This is impressive. So let's make it a bit smaller. But this is the problem that it has. It actually has this white background on it. So that's a problem. But I think what you can do though is change background, erase area. Where do I erase the background over here? Masterize. Oh, it can do an auto automatically click it into. Let's see what this tool does. Okay, I don't think it's, it's really wanted to do what we wanted to. But overall, like, just saying that this is actually pretty decent. So overall, I have to say that I'm actually liking this tool very, very much. I think there's definitely use cases for this, and the image generation quality is very nice. I haven't really seen in the gallery, like, people, like, anime art, for example, none of that is available here. So I think in terms of realism, it's really good quality based on looking at some of these prompts that have been made here. So depending on what you want to do, you want to sell stock photos, you want to do mock-ups and things like that. There's, I don't think it's as good in terms of illustrations as some of the other platforms, but this is definitely leaning towards more into photo realism. And as I already discussed a bit of the price, I don't think it's that expensive, I mean, you know, thousand credits are going to be getting you roughly around thousand images or thousand edits. So that includes a lot of things. So prompt, one prompt is a one image. So, and obviously you can do top ups on top of that, but maybe depending on what you're doing, you don't need to do that many images monthly. And yeah, but this is not super expensive, but it's not maybe the best deal also compared to, I think mid journey is still like a lot more cheaper, but I haven't run the numbers recently because a lot of a lot of these platforms have raised their prices so that's the one thing to account and obviously there's a lot of free image generator platforms but in terms of like post editing this is a pretty good platform and i think you should be able to also like bring in images from your computer or something inside so which you can edit then afterwards so maybe you have already logo done and you just do a mock-up here but that basically wraps up my video. In case you want to try it out, please use my link down below in the description. And I will be seeing you in the next review when that will be dropping out. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.